Hi everyone, my name is Ashley and today we are going to be doing a yoga fusion class. Yoga fusion is a combination of both yoga and Pilates. So we are going to start our class off by getting onto our mat or our carpet, whatever is comfortable to you. So we're going to be starting our class off in corpse pose. So slowly getting down to the floor, we want to turn our palms up towards the ceiling and let your heels and let your legs fall to both sides. So as we hold this pose, we're going to focus on doing some deep breathing exercises to bring awareness to our body. Starting off by doing some inhalations through our nose and deep exhalation out through our mouth. Inhale and exhale. Keeping that steady breath, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through our mouth. Try to relax your mind and relax your body. So remember, it is okay to close your eyes if it feels comfortable or natural to you. And allow your shoulders to sink deeper and deeper into the mat and into the floor as your body becomes more comfortable. So now letting your back and letting your hips sink into the mat. And on the next exhalation, let your legs sink into the mat. And finally, letting your feet. Now from here, we're going to start by moving and rolling our ankles, starting from the bottom, working our way up, allowing some movement to come back into our body. So slowly rolling your ankles, doesn't matter which direction, we will do both. And other direction, rolling your ankles, allowing that mobility to come back into our body. and stop. Now we're gonna bring our knee into our chest. And as you hold that position, try not to tense up at the shoulders. Opening up your glutes, stretching out your lower back. And slowly let that leg come back down to the floor, repeating to the other side, bringing your knee into the chest or as close as you can. Holding a little while longer. And relax your leg. Now, from here, relaxing your hips. Now we're gonna start by turning our palms up again and we're gonna open and close the hands bringing blood flow back to the upper body, making a fist and letting our fingers go. One more time and relax. Now we're gonna bring both of our hands up and then bring our arms down. So inhaling up, full inhale and exhale. Two more times. Last one, inhale and relax. So now we're bringing both of our knees into our chest. So you can either keep your heels together and bring your knees in close, or if your hips can't close, then keep them slightly open. And from here, we're gonna rock our hips from side to side, giving our back a small massage. So remember, it's slow and gentle rocking motion. And now you can go forward and back, rocking your back, keeping your chin off your chest, warming up your spine, preparing our body for the movements we have ahead. 
and relax. Still holding that pose. Now letting your left leg come down, using your left arm, grabbing your right knee, open up your spine. Try to bring your knee down closer to the floor and open up your opposite arm. So it's your choice. You can look towards the arm or you can look forward. If you are a little bit more flexible and you have a yoga strap at home, you can also try and extend your top leg and bring it down to the floor. If not, you can keep your knee bent. Your choice. And remember, the longer we hold these poses, the more flexible our body does become over time. And switch. Let your leg come down. Bring your knee into your chest. Open up your arm and rotating our spine. So again, it's your choice. You can either look towards your hand or look towards the knee that's on top. And you can extend your leg, intensifying that deeper stretch. Try to bring your toe down to the floor. But again, listening to our body through every pose. And bring it back to our midline. And finally, bringing our heels flat to the floor and our knees up to the ceiling. So with our palms remaining down, sinking our heels firmly into the ground, you're gonna lift your hips up, going into our bridge. So this pose is more of a strength-based pose, strengthening your legs, your lower back, your core. So holding that pose. Bring your heels a little closer. And again, in bridge, you wanna keep your hips and your heels in the same position. To make it harder, we're gonna go on to our toes and back down to our heels. Doing little mini calf raises in this position. So if it is too hard, you can always do one leg at a time or just stay in bridge and don't do the calf raise. Exhale up, inhale down. Doing that two more times. Last one. And slowly drop your hips. Relaxing your spine, now going into pelvic tilts. So with pelvic tilt, you wanna flatten your hips into the floor, squeezing your abdominals, and then relax, creating an arch in your lower back. So placing your hands on your hip bones, roll your hips under, pelvic tilts, flattening your spine, and then exhale, let it go. So pelvic tilt is something you wanna keep whenever we are doing any type of abdominal work, especially when lying on our back. Doing that two more times. Exhale, pelvic tilt, hip bones to the ceiling. One more time, exhale, round down, and bring it back. So hands back on the floor. And now we're going to let our left leg go down, starting off with hip circles. So rolling your leg inwards towards your knee. Exhale. Slow and steady sweeps. So remember, it's not just about our leg here. You still wanna keep your core contracted and breathing out, especially as we sweep our leg in circles. Exhale, inhale. So we will make them a little faster. Exhale, inhale, sweep. Deep breath. And try not to let your body sway or swing as we do these circles. Allowing your hip flexors to warm up. Engaging your inner thighs. Two more. Nice job. And bend that knee. Other side. So same thing, allow your leg to come longer. Relax your shoulders. Circling your leg in towards the knee keeping your core engaged the full and entire time. Exhale, sweep. Try to keep your upper body as still as we can, focusing on the lower body. Four more big circles here. Try to over-exaggerate your range of motion. 
two more. Last one. And bending your knees again. So now you want to elongate your leg, reaching your hands behind the knee, keeping your other knee bent. We're going to point and flex. Warming up the back of the calf and the hamstring. So we are going to make these poses a little more difficult as we go along throughout our workout. But for now, just feel that warming sensation. And switch. Bring your leg up. Try to aim for a 90 degree lengthening. Hands behind the knee. And again, you want to point and flex. Bring your toe towards the knee and again up towards the ceiling. Two more. And bend the knee. Great job. So now bring both of your knees to one side and open up your arms. Try to keep your knees together. Get a nice big stretch in the rotating of our spine. And core tight. Switch, other side. Keep the knees together. Slow and steady. Rotate. And rotate. Remember, it's not a fast motion. Working the obliques in our upper torso. It's all about the control. Doing that two more times. And our last one. Back to tabletop, arms up still. Now we're going into our opposite arm and opposite leg. So you wanna lower one down and bring it back up. Exhale, lower, inhale back up. So now, this is where you wanna practice that pelvic tilt action that we did earlier. Your hips are into the floor, your belly button's drawn in towards your spine. We're engaging our lower abdominals. We're engaging our shoulders, keeping a focal point, looking up towards the ceiling. Next stays in line with our spine. Exhale, inhale. So it's important never to hold our breath during any point in exercise. Allow your muscles to get the oxygen it needs. Three more. Two. And one. Now to make it a little harder, let's go in for doubles. Double down, scooping it back in. Lowering down, scooping it back in. Remember this one, it is harder. So it is okay to bring it back to the exercise we just did earlier. Steady, squeeze. Keeping your back into the ground. Two more. Last exhale. And hold it. So again, bring your knees into your chest. Getting back to the relaxation pose. Giving your hips a break. And now from here, we're going to slowly come up. Pushing our hips right back. So now it's important to sit up nice and tall. Bring your right leg over top of the left and connect your left elbow to your right knee. Keeping your posture as tall as we can. So it's important that we're not leaning back. You wanna keep your back as straight as you can. Try to get a deeper twist as your body is warmer and warmer. And exhale, other side. So now, left leg over the right. Right elbow connects. Sitting as tall as we can. Elbow to the knee. And rotate as far as you can. 
holding that breath for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. So now our legs are long, your heels are up. We're now in a long seated pose. We're gonna inhale our arms up. And as you exhale, reaching your arms down and forward, holding that stretch. So everyone feels this stretch a little bit differently. Might be in your upper back, your lower back, hamstrings, hips. And every breath, try to get a little further. And remember, if you can't get that far, it is okay to stop at your knees. You can stop at your shins. If not, reaching for the toes. Holding for 10 more counts. Three, two, one, bending one knee at a time. And now going onto our knees. So here it's important to know if you have wrist or knee issues, you can fold your mat to allow a little bit of extra cushion. So our hands are below the shoulders and our knees are under the hips. We're going to round up our spine. So you're going to round up, curving your belly button in towards your spine widening your shoulder blades, pressing your body weight away from your hands. And as you exhale, allow your belly button to sink down towards the floor, squeezing your shoulder blades, rounding your hips up towards the ceiling. And again, round up, curving your chin in towards the chest. And exhale, looking up, Arching your shoulder blades, squeeze them together, belly button down to the floor, hips to the ceiling, one more time. Exhale up. And again, remember it's your choice to look up during that stretch or not, or keep a neutral neck. And relax, back to neutral spine. And now looking over your right shoulder. Try to look towards your heel. And remember, during these poses, we're trying to work all angles of our spine from rotation to lateral bending, flexion and extension. And do the other side, looking over your shoulder, looking towards your heel. And then back to neutral. So with our knees still underneath, we're gonna lift slowly our left leg up and extending your right arm forward. So this is a balance pose and we're also gonna make it into a strength and endurance pose. So here, you wanna keep your hip bone down towards the floor, extending fingertip to toe, deep exhale, Holding that inhale and exhale, two more. Now we're gonna bring our elbow to the knee, connecting and lengthening. Remember, it's not about how fast we're making those movements, it's all about the control. Keeping your core engaged as we move our body. And remember, if it is too hard for you, just start off with your knee lifts then you can always progress into adding the arm off the floor. Two more. And bring it back in. Other side, so starting off, right leg up, realign your hands, bring your left arm up, rotate your hip down. Inhaling through our nose, exhaling out through our mouth. Find your balance first. And when we're ready, threading our elbows to our knees, bringing it in and extend. So pretend someone's pulling you from your fingertips and your toes. It's being one straight line. Five more. Three, two, 
and one. Placing that foot back and now widening your knees, the width of your mats, going into child's pose. So this pose we will do pretty frequently throughout our class. It's one of the relaxation poses to help stretch out your lower back, your upper shoulders. So try to bring your hips right back onto the heels. Opening your palms and opening your fingertips. Exhale, go a little lower. Now in that pose, we're gonna reach our left hand over to the right hand. Opening up your upper back. Especially the lat muscles. And now bring your hand back. Other side, now your right hand meets your left. And now bring it back and slowly coming back onto our knees again. So once we're here, your hands are below the shoulders. You're gonna walk your feet back and we're staying in a high plank position. So in high plank, it's important that our hips are not in the air and our back is not rounded. If high plank is too difficult for you, you can also be on your knees or on your toes. The choice is yours. My preference is hands right below the shoulders, walking your hips up, engaging your core. So again, there's plank. It's a strengthening pose. Total body, shoulders, lower back, legs. And again, it is a lot of mental work too. We have to hold that pose for a period of time. Now slowly coming down, elbows in, dropping it down, lifting your chest up, going into Cobra, stretching out the front part of our body. And remember in Cobra, if it's too intense with the elbows long, you can also come down into a modified position, putting less strain on our upper body and on our hands. If not, we are straight up, elbows in, Toes are long. And again, slowly coming down. Inhale down and relax. As you exhale, I want you to reach your arms as far as you can. Going for some back strengthening exercises. Three, two, one. Exhale, come up. Inhale down. Exhale, come up, squeezing your glutes, engaging your core. Exhale. Push up, contract your core, contract your glutes. Arms are up. Giving me two more reps. Lengthen. And down, final one. Exhale up. Holding it there. And relax. Now we're gonna grab both of our feet. And as we exhale, we're going into our bow pose. So lifting up, squeezing your glutes, lifting your chest. Depending on your flexibility, you might be able to go a little higher up off the floor. This is a more advanced pose. So remember, it is okay to stay right here to start. Then slowly lifting your chest, then progressing up. Holding it, inhale, exhale. Find your gaze, find a spot looking forward. Three, two, one, and relax, slowly coming down. Elongate your feet hands under the shoulders again, and slowly begin to push back. So now that our knees are under our hips again, hands are below the shoulders, we're gonna go into a downward dog position. So tucking your toes under, lifting your heels straight back, 
Pushing that pressure into the back of the hips. Taking your pressure away from the upper body. And remember, downward dog is meant to stretch out the lower body, calves, hamstrings. And if it's too hard for me, you can also walk the dog, placing one heel down at a time. One at a time. Five, four, three, two, one. And now try to hold it. Walk your hands a little closer. Deep exhale. Try to create that V with your hips. Straight towards the ceiling. And now slowly walking your hands back. We're now in forward fold. And depending how flexible we are again, you want to keep your feet together, flat back, hands down to the floor. And remember, if you can, you can also interlace your fingers behind your knees, lowering your chest right down into our thighs. And back down, now bending your knees, and back up straight. Bend your knees, and back up straight, two more. Going down, and up, one more. Bend your knees, and lift, now inhale up, and bring your arms down slowly. So now we're gonna stand at the edge of our mat, going to some sun salutations here. So as we're here, take a deep breath in, inhaling up, Exhale down, forward fold. Come halfway up. Back down, it's your choice, either step back or jump. So if you jump back, staying there. High plank, going down under, elbows in. Lifting your chest up. Exhale back down, pushing into downward dog. Again, either walk back or jump back. Hands down straight. Slowly coming up, inhale up. And then coming back down. So realign, feet back to your center, inhale up. On this one, I'm gonna do the modified version. Exhale down. Reach down towards your toes, forward fold. Come halfway up, halfway down. Now we're gonna step one foot back. The other foot comes to meet it. If you need to, going down to your knees, down under, lifting your chest open. Exhale back down, pushing into downward facing dog. Back to plank. And again, walking your feet back in slowly. Straightening your knees. Inhale your way back up. So this one gets our heart rates up a little bit higher. Again, walking down. Halfway up. Halfway down. Again, this time we're gonna step back again or jump, your choice. Elbows in. Strengthening your triceps and your chest and your shoulders. Looking up towards the ceiling. Exhale down. Inhale, exhale, push back into downward facing dog. Back into your high plank. And walk or jump your way back in. Straightening out your legs. Inhale your way back up. One more time all together. Inhale, exhale down. Reaching down to the floor, coming halfway up to our knees, flat back, exhale down, walk or jump, your choice, elbows into our body, looking straight up, opening up your chest, exhale 
exhale back down, pushing into downward facing dog, heels to the floor, hips to the ceiling, opening up your fingertips. Back to high plank, another walk or jump, straightening out your legs and inhaling your arms up all the way up towards the ceiling and back down. So since we're here, we're gonna take our right leg forward and slightly angle your left leg back. Rotating our hips, we're into our first position, high lunge or warrior one. Inhale up, chin forward, looking straight, arms up towards the ceiling. Keeping your core nice and tight Push forward, making sure your knee doesn't pass over the toes. Opening up your inner thigh and the left leg, but also strengthening that front thigh. Now exhaling, going into warrior two. Looking forward, keeping that same position. Rotating our arm outward. And now lean back slowly, looking up towards the ceiling, reverse warrior. This one's a little more difficult, so if not, you can always stay in your warrior two. And bring it back and slowly turn your heels in. So now before we switch sides, letting your forehead fall opening up your feet, making sure both of your toes are facing forward. You can either loop your fingers around your big toes or hands here, or you can hug here. And now leaning into our right, going as deep as you can, getting a nice deep groin stretch, hands above the knee or hands on the floor, Angle your heel up, sink a little lower, keeping your shoulders wide, intensifying that stretch for three, two, and one. Push out of it. Great job. Now we're doing the other side. So toe forward, heel slightly on an angle, pushing your knee in, reaching your arms up, core nice and tight. Hands overhead, deep breath. Remember every exhale is when you wanna go a little deeper into our stretches and our poses. Inhale, exhale, go a little further. Now, going into warrior two, keeping your knee right behind the toes. Remember if anything feels too intense, just push back off. Looking forward, keeping your gaze. Deep exhale, now going into reverse. Looking up towards the ceiling, hand slides behind the other leg. Looking up. And bring it back and slowly rolling back inward again. And forward fold. Letting your forehead drop, remembering our options. Straighten out your knees. Deep exhale, now leaning over to your left side. My left, your right. Chest up, hands on the knee if you wish. Heel up. Again, you wanna intensify that stretch right in the inner thigh. Lean down. Great job. Now pushing back to middle. Wiggle your feet in closer and closer. Bending your knees. And inhaling your way back up. Now bringing your feet back. Hip width apart. Inhaling up. Sitting our hips back into chair pose. So from the side, your hips are back. Heels are together. 
arms are up towards the ceiling. This one is all about strength and endurance here. Quad strength, glute strength, arms up. Remember, we shouldn't be here. Arms straight up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale out. Great job. Doing that one more time. Feet shoulder width apart. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, sit back, heels on the floor, looking straight forward, arms in tight, close to the ears if you can. Listening to your body, exhale. Five, four, three, two, one. Come out of that and relax, great job. So both feet forward, this one's about balance. Tree pose, you have our options. Option one, option two, or option three. Remember, it's all about opening up your groin. So starting off here, if you have little balance or if you're a little bit modified, bring that heel in tight, arms out to the side, or arms at your hips, or arms over the head. Holding our balance pose. Deep breath. Three, two, one. Bring your arms back into heart center. Slide your leg back down and switch. Same thing. Bring your heel in close. Remember the same position. Try to do both the same leg. Hands in, arms out or up overhead. Finding your gaze, finding your breath. Remember balance is all about focus. So if you are at home and you do have poor balance, remember you can have a chair beside you or in front of you. Great work. Three, two, and one. Bringing your hands back into heart center and slowly dropping that leg. And now wiggle out your feet from side to side. Great job. So now bringing your feet out, bring some Pilates, plie squats, so hands on your hips, heels in close. We're gonna push down and push up. Push down and push up. So again, knees stay behind the toes, zipping your inner thighs in closer together, chin forward, exhale, squeeze. Exhale up, inhale down, exhale up. Doing that two more times and we're gonna hold that squat. Last one, let's hold, stay there, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and push out of that stretch and strength and bring it back to our center. So now bring your hands back into our heart center, exhale the arms up. You're gonna exhale over to one side, doing our half moon pose. So if this is too intense, remember one arm can drop. If not, the other arm stays up to meet it. And coming back up to your center. Other side, exhale. Lean as far as you can, pushing into the hip, opening up your rib cage. Opening up the heart space. And coming back up. Now mini, mini back bend. Lengthen back, so from the side. Only go as far back as you feel comfortable. If you have a bad back, place your hands there. Open up your chest towards the ceiling. Squeeze your glutes. And come back out of that, very good. And again, from the top, hands back in the heart center, slight bend in your knees, interlace your fingers, inhale, exhale up, tucking your hips under, exhale over, half moon. Keeping your gaze forward, remember focusing on what we're doing. Exhale back up, inhale, relax. Again, other side, half moon.
and bring it back up to our center. And again, many, many back bends from the side or hands behind your back. And back to our center and coming back in. So now once we're here, we're standing in our corpse pose. Palms up, chin forward. And now let's focus on the last bit of our class with some deep breathing exercises. So our first one is four, seven, and eight. We're gonna inhale for four. Hold our breath for seven. And exhale for eight. Again, inhale for four. Hold for seven and exhale for eight. Taking that deep breath in again, four counts in. Hold for seven. And exhale for eight. Two more times. Inhale for four. Exhale for eight. And relax. And now roll back our shoulders. So remember that four, seven, eight count breath allows our mind and our body to relax. So if anyone's feeling anxious or stressed, you can always do that exercise breathing at home by yourself in your car. One more time, roll your shoulders back and bring it in. So our final part, we're heading down to the mat again. Ending off our class in a lying down position. Starting off with our hands at our side, we're going for our Pilates 100s. So here. And you're gonna deep breath out for five and inhale for five. So you have options. Option number one, your heels can stay on the floor, but again, you wanna scoop in, engaging your core on that way up. And you're gonna pulse, one, two, three, four, five, then inhale for five. One, two, three, four, five. If you wanna make it harder, your knees can come up or your legs can come straight. I'm gonna stay here at the intermediate phase. So we're option one, option two, option three. So find your scoop, engage your pelvic floor, hands at your side in three, two, and one. Lifting up, scoop, and pulse. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five, one. Great job, inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Again, inhale. Exhale. Keep going, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Again, inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale. And one more time. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Hold it. And slowly release that scoop. Good job. Keeping your knees up and slowly bring your heels back down. Great job. Now one more, shoulders down, relaxing your legs, right down to the floor and ending off our class here. So palms up, same thing as when we first started. Heels fall to either side, closing your eyes or keeping them open. And now's the time where you wanna take some time to relax and self-reflect. So give me one full inhale and one full exhalation. So if you wanna connect your mind and your breath, 
place your hands on your chest and on your diaphragm. Inhale, feeling your ribs rise. And as you exhale, feeling your ribs sink back down. Inhale, and exhale. So inhaling positivity, and exhaling negativity. So try to become more and more in tune with your breath and your mind and your body. Doing one more deep inhalation. And relax. Now letting your arms fall to the side. Continuing that deep breath. Full inhale. And full exhale. So it's important to notice when we are doing any deep breathing exercises that we're not breathing with our chest. Remember, we are using the, young, the lungs, but we shouldn't be lifting with our chest as we breathe. That creates stress and anxiousness in our bodies. So focus on breathing through the belly. So taking the time to self-reflect on what we did during our class, what poses felt good, what poses were difficult, what we can work on and improve on. Doing one more full inhale. And relax. So now from here, we're gonna slowly bring our knees back in Waking up our body one more time. And slowly curving our way back up towards the top. And now once we're here, we're gonna go into a seated centering pose. So remember, if you do have a bad back or you find this posture difficult, you can use a yoga block or a bolster at home or a pillow. So starting off here, hands at our sides and exhale over. Inhaling, keeping that forward gaze. And exhale, other side. Inhale, exhale, bending over, keeping your spine still tall, but leaning over. And exhale. Now twist, opposite hand to the knee, looking over your shoulder. And untwist, other side. and back into your center. And now let your arms fall at the side, relaxing your shoulders, rolling backwards for three, two, and one. And most importantly, everyone, I wanna say thank you for joining me today for Yoga Fusion. Stay tuned for plenty more classes to come. Have a great day, guys.